Joshua Freak coming at you from Bonita Lakes uh, Lake. We got a uh, mountain bike trail. Oh, this is my home. This is my home trail here in Meridian. I don't live in Meridian, but I live about 45 minutes from here. So these are my home trails. And today I was wanting to do my year end vlog or whatever you want to call it. Just letting you know what's coming up next year and what happened this past year which everybody knows this past year has been a wild ride so i've been trying to get some like some third third uh, person point of view shots so I'm gonna, this next year i want to try to do more third person shots it's tough though especially if you got one camera and one person it's tough to do like a third person little scene because you got to Set your camera up, do your run, go get your camera, set it up somewhere else, do you another, you know, it's just, it's a pain sometimes, so I may try to do a couple of videos like that, and uh, yeah, so what's going on, well, should we go over what happened in 2020, alright, let's do that, so 2020 was shaping up to be a good year, you saw my last vlog from last year, yeah, I had a lot of plans, racing was was going to be awesome there was going to be a full enduro season throughout the summer with uh go nuts and i was going to do a couple of the arkansas enduros i did one at kohler a couple years ago that was real fun up there in bentonville man yeah 2020 was going to be a good year for some enduro racing but as everybody knows as soon as that situation happened everything got shut down all the racing got shut down and it just put me in a bad spot you know you get a little bit uh, more depressed than what I already am at times. So I started gaining my weight back. I mean, I was slowly, I got to where I was losing a little bit and coming into you know, 2020, I was going to doing all this racing. You know, I was going to lose a lot more. But, you know, that didn't happen. So the plan for 2021, get in better shape. We'll be doing enduros. May do a couple XCs. I, I know I said that last year. And it ended up doing more next season than I thought I was going to do. Because towards the end of 2020, you know, stuff started kind of slowly getting back. Like the Go Nuts, you know, they did the Fall Enduro Series. I did that full series championship to that. So, you don't always got a podium. Just show up to every race and you, you might get a, an award. So, I did that. Same thing with the XC. I did uh, a lot of the XCs. Got a championship for that. All I did in 2020 is mope around for the first three or four months when everything was completely shut down. Uh, I didn't hardly ride at all. And like I said, I gained my weight back. I'm up to, I got up to around 255, 256. Now I'm back to 250. So my goal, as always, has been 200 pounds. And whenever I get to 230, I kind of plateau and I can't get below that 230. But this year, I want to try. I want to try this time. I hope nothing gets shut down again. So 2021, I hope, will be a whole lot better than 2020. Because, you know, I'm hoping the Arkansas Enduro Series comes back. Of course, Go Nuts, they already have their schedule for next year. So, be doing Go Nuts. Third Coast Enduros, they're coming back. They're going to have about five races in 2021. You know, most of them will be Georgia. Go Nuts is mostly Alabama. I think they're... Be a couple in Tennessee, and, but I think they're mostly Alabama with the go nuts. That's what I'll be doing, mostly enduros, so a couple XCs mixed in, and I will be trying to go to some more places to ride. There are a couple places in Mississippi that I have not ridden yet, like Oxford, the Whirlpool Trails, I think that's what they're called, and Hernando, I think there's a trail system, Area 51, stuff like that, that I would like to go do this year or in 2021. Oh, okay. So what else for 2021? Uh, well, I got uh, my Trek Fuel EX. I was planning on working on it, getting it lightened up for XC. You know, I previously had it set up for Enduro, which that is not an Enduro bike. So one, you know, from the factory is a 130 travel bike, fork and rear. And I put a, a one, I think I got a 170 DBO on there right now. I think it's set up at 170. 
So it's a little much for that bike, but it did it did pretty good on the few of the intros I did with it. So too bad it held up and got the job done until I got my evil. So, so I'm gonna be so I will be working on my EX. I'm putting lighter parts on it to try to get the weight down on it for XC. Lighter tires. I have my carbon rims from my Chinese bike that I will be using and some other stuff to try to make it lighter. I may do a a bike check on my Evil. If anybody wants to see a, a bike check on my Evil, my reckoning, let me know in the comments. My Chinese carbon bike, I will, I want to strip it down, re-clear it, because it's looking pretty rough right now, and I want to turn it into a uh, single speed bike. I don't know what else. That's about, about it. Oh, I'm gonna do a couple small reviews, like quick little reviews on It's going to spill over into 2021 whether we like it or not but anyway 2021 is looking looking up hope everybody has a a good new year holiday on that note just ride man until next time